Hey guys and good day and today I'll be working on a high risk robot and as you can see the example here in the book is that of a mech that's designed to explore unfriendly terrain. Now my mech on the other hand will be a deep sea exploration robot and I'll be taking the cheeky approach to it and we'll design the mech based off a typical sea creature with claws and everything okay so let's go. So it's been a while since my last upload and to be honest I should have uploaded last week but it just happened that I messed up the last drawing so bad that I had to redraw and reshoot the video so really really sorry for that. Now I've also been uh, well we've also been really busy with some family stuff for the last few weeks so schedule has been really tight and some commitments needed to be cancelled and some projects just had to be pushed back um, but we are almost back to normal and yeah I'm hoping that I'd be able to settle back again into my normal art routine now there's always something that we don't want to do uh, always something that we tend to put off from our to-do list uh, for me it could be chatting to a new client now as talkative as a I am in person, I'm not so good talking to people online. It just feels real awkward for me, especially when the client requests to have a video chat and that's really weird on my part and that's just because it's not my thing. Another thing that I hate doing is falling in line to pay bills. Ah uh, yeah, well, I hate doing that but that's what you need to do sometimes and even though we pay most of our bills online some stuff just needs to get done and I really hate long lines. I also do not like dealing with anything related to the government largely because I find everything so inefficient and I've had bad experiences with a terrible number of government employees and officials. Now, uh, the things that I mentioned, uh, these are the things that I hate to do, but I know that I have to at one point or another. And also as a freelancer and a married man, there are many things on my to-do list that are not art related. That I wish I could opt not to do, but I have to. And that's the reality of life. Now, these things are what my favorite motivational speaker, uh, Mr. Brian Tracy, calls frogs. Brian Tracy's advice from his book, Eat That Frog, is to take the biggest and the ugliest frog and eat it first. This means that if you look at your to-do list, um, the one thing that you hate to do the most, that's the one that you should take care of first. Now, this is good advice really, especially when that one task is high priority. Now, I remember last year when we were preparing for our wedding, I was working on two jobs technically. I worked as an art director full-time for an Israeli company making games when at the same time I worked on my freelancing gigs. Now I'd wake up at 9 a.m. and then work on projects until 3 p.m. where I would have to log in and work on my day job and then work till around 1 a.m. After that I'd go and hammer out other freelancing gigs until around 3 a.m. So it was really really hectic and on top of that like I said, we were preparing for our wedding. Now, the one thing that I hated the most about our wedding prep was talking to our wedding coordinator. And largely because, and I'm saying this as politely as I can, but because she was really, really incompetent in her work. And sadly, um, there were instances where I had to contact some of the suppliers themselves because, I mean, I needed to keep the ball rolling and she just couldn't handle the job. I really hated talking to her because it really felt like I was wasting my time. But after listening to Brian Tracy, I marked her as my biggest frog. And at the start of the day, I'd make sure that whatever it was that I needed to talk to her about or email her about, that's the one thing that needs to get done pronto. It was numero uno on my to-do list now. It helped me a lot because I knew that the one thing that I hated to do was already taken care of and now that I have the mental bandwidth to focus on other things that I needed to do, I can really focus on them. Now I'm just thankful to the Lord because we had a friend from church who helped us 
on our actual wedding day. So all is fine. Now, anyway, frogs are the daunting task that you know you have to do, but you're either lazy to do it or you're terrified of doing it. Now, it could mean something that's uncomfortable for you or something that you're not equipped to do just yet. But the thing is, these frogs are the stuff that you need to do and often the biggest and the ugliest frog is the most important thing that needs to get done it could be starting on that website that you know you needed to launch last month or that portfolio you know you needed to compile for your facebook page that you know you needed to make for your art or it could be as simple as and as terrifying as asking your idols for a critique all important stuff all too daunting uh, for me, it's often a blank canvas, especially when I know that I'll be working on a comic book page. Um, there's nothing more scary for me than the realization that I do not know what I need to draw. So those are the frogs of my life, uh, the stuff that I need to do on a day-to-day -day basis that I do not like to do or fear, but I know needs to get done. So what I find really helpful for me is to break down everything that I needed to do all of the stuff that needs to get done into the smallest possible chunk or task as possible. For example, I've long wanted to start doing this YouTube thing, but I've always been held back by many reasons. And when I broke down the YouTube channel project for me to task, I found out that what I did not like about doing it was the need to figure out how to edit video. And it felt, at least for me, too tedious and that it would take up what I felt was time that I should have spent on drawing instead. Realizing that this was the problem, the first frog that I ate was messing around with video editing software. And because of this, I realized that I really just wanted to make drawing videos and as such needed a setup that was as simple as possible. And the simplest and fastest way for me to eat this frog was to just go and use my phone and decide early on that my videos would be simple so that I could focus on the fun part, which was sketching and writing up the script for the audio. Once this was taken care of, everything else was relatively easy. So my advice is to list all of the frogs that you need to do. Prioritize them and examine your task to see what is the biggest frog that needs the most attention. Focus on this and do the work that needs to get done and then move on to the next biggest frog and so on and so forth. You'll notice that after the first frog, everything seems easier. Now. I'll be working on another fan art next week. I'd be doing an Ironhide bus, I think. And so please do watch out for that. Now, until then, take care, guys, and God bless.